1.3 Relating SI and Imperial Units SI stands for Le Système International. It's a French name, but basically it is the most recent form of the metric system. I know working in both systems sometimes can get a little bit confusing, so I want to go through the basic units of length in both systems. So on metric, we have the millimeter, and short form for the millimeter is mm. Next, we have the centimeter, short form is cm. Over on the imperial side, the closest thing to a centimeter is an inch, short form is im. The next on the imperial side, we have a foot. And the next pair of units that match well together is we have the meter in the metric system, and that is the base unit of length in the metric system, and its comparison in the imperial system is a yard. And last, we're going to go with the largest units that we tend to use. In metric, it's the kilometer, short form is km, and imperial, it's mile, short form is mi. You should get comfortable working in both types of measurements. All of these units are units you're likely to encounter. You're best off getting comfortable working with both. In this section, we're going to be working on how to convert back and forth between metric and imperial. I've got a conversion table here for you. On the left, we've got the imperial, and on the right, we've got the SI measurements. What I want to point out is most of these conversions are rounded. They're approximate. In most cases, they're good enough. The only one that is exact is this one right here. One inch is exactly 2.54 centimeters. That is not rounded off at all. If possible, when you're doing a conversion, use that one I highlighted, and your calculation will be more accurate. Let's get to doing a conversion. Convert 59 meters to the nearest foot. Now, some people can look at the conversions and they know right away whether to multiply or divide. But trusting that method leads to people making more mistakes. The way I prefer to solve these is using cross multiplication. Let me show you how I do it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a ratio. Anytime I'm doing any conversions, I always write it out in words first. All right, because I'm converting from meters to feet, I'm going to set it up as meters on top and feet on the bottom. And for the rest of this question, anytime I set up a ratio, I'm setting up meters and feet. Next step is I go find my conversion chart. I look for the one that talks about in feet and meters, and I know one foot equals 0 0.305 meters. So let's set that up in the ratio. I'm going to put meters on top, feet on the bottom. So 0 0.305 meters over one foot. So for every 0 0.305 meters, we've got one foot. Put your units in. Don't forget those. You'll lead to more mistakes if you miss them. Now that i got that piece set up, I actually should go in and use the numbers from my question. I'm trying to convert 59 meters. According to the way I set it up, meters should always be on the top. So I'm going to put that 59 meters on the top. And the unknown, that's the piece I'm trying to figure out, well, that's feet. That's going to be on the bottom. Now let's do our cross multiplication. Top from the one, bottom from the other. I was like starting with the pair that has my x. So let's multiply those two together. And the other side of the cross multiply, I'm going to multiply these two together. I've got 1 times 59. 1 times anything doesn't change it. I've got 0.305x equals 59. Got to get x all by itself, so I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.305. And I'm left with an end answer of x equals 193.44. And there's more decimals after that. Now's the point where I need to start looking for my unit. The X was on my bottom of my cross multiplying. Feet is on the bottom of my cross multiplying. So this must have a unit of feet. The other thing we need to look at, it asked us to convert it to the nearest foot. So we're going to round it off to 193 feet. And there's our answer. Let's go through the steps we went through on this. We started by identifying what units we're working with and found the appropriate conversion factor. Next, we set up our conversion in words. After that, we put our conversion factor in. Next, we put our question numbers in and put an X for the piece we don't know. And last, we cross multiplied. I'm going to put a quick reminder, don't forget your units. Let's do another example. Convert each of these to the nearest unit. We're going from kilometers to miles and miles to kilometers. This one's a little simpler because you're always going to be using the same basic conversion factor. We are looking at one mile equals 1.6 kilometers. So I'm going to start out with my ratio. I'm going to write it out in words. I'm going to go miles over kilometers. It doesn't matter which one you set up on the top or which one you put on the bottom. 
Just be consistent all the way through the question. Don't switch. Next, I'm going to put my conversion factor. One mile is the same as 1.6 kilometers. Our next step is to put our question number in. That's kilometers. The way I've set it up, I'm going to put kilometers on the bottom. So I'm going to put 114 kilometers on the bottom. And the piece I don't know is x. Let's do our cross multiplying. Those two together, so 1.6 times x, and those two equals 1 times 114. Anything times 1 doesn't change, so I can get lazy. I can just write down 114. Let's finish this off by dividing both sides by 1.6, because I want that x all by itself. And I'm left with x equals 71. Going back up to our question, I see that x is on the top, and any number from the top is a mile, so this must be 71 miles. If I go over to part B, I'm going to use the exact same setup. I'm going to go 1 mile over 1.6 kilometers, using what I did before, equals, now this time I'm working with miles, and the way I've got it set up, I want miles on the top. So 68 miles. And on the bottom, that's where my X is. That's the piece I don't know. So if I'm changing the part I'm looking for, I just change where I put my unknown and where I put the question number in. Let's cross multiply this. x equals 109 kilometers. Next example. If somebody is 6 foot 3 inches tall, how many centimeters is that? Now this one can be a little more confusing because right here when we're talking about 6 feet 3 inches, we've got a mix of two different units. Now they're both imperial, but it's two parts. Over here, I'm wanting to find the answer in centimeters, and that's SI. There's two ways you can go about this. You can convert feet and then you convert inches and add those two answers together. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those six feet, I'm going to convert them down into inches, and then I'm going to do the conversion with all those inches over into centimeters. Conversion factors I'm going to use, one foot equals 12 inches, and I'm also going to use one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. Remember, that is our metric to imperial conversion that is exact, that inches to centimeters one. Let's get started. 6 feet. Since I know there are 12 inches in a foot, I'm going to times it by 12 inches per foot. I'm looking at 72 inches. 72 inches plus the 3 inches that we also had from before gives this person a total height of 75 inches. All right, I'm going to use that 75 inches as my question now. Let's go do the other side. Let's convert 75 inches into centimeters. I'm comparing inches and centimeters. And from my conversion factor, I know that 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters. That's my conversion factor. Let's put the number we're working with in. That's 75 inches. Inches go on top. And last but not least, our unknown is how many centimeters. So I'll put that on the bottom. Cross multiply. Let's round that off to 191. Because everyone always rounds their height up. And because our unknown was on the bottom and centimeters is on the bottom, this must be centimeters. A person who's 6 feet 3 inches tall is 191 centimeters. Write that out in words, and we're done. And that's that. In our next example here, here is a question where if you get it wrong, you can have disastrous consequences. A truck driver knows their semi-trailer is 3.5 meters tall. An overpass has a clearance of 11 feet 9 inches. Will the truck fit under the overpass? So once again, when we're looking at word problems, start with what is the question asking? Will the truck fit? What information am I given? Well, the semi-trailer is 3.5 meters tall and the overpass has a clearance of 11 feet 9 inches. So basically, I need to know is the overpass taller than the semi-trailer? There's two routes you can go with this. You can either take that semi-trailer, which is an SI measurement, and convert it into imperial, or you can take the overpass, which is an imperial measurement, and convert it into SI. I'm going to convert the SI measurement of the semi-trailer into imperial. But I like using the exact measurement. The one inch equals 2.54 centimeters. It's got no rounding, there's less air, and it's more exact. So to start with, let's take that 3.5 meters, convert it down to centimeters. Now I know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter, so I'm going to times it by 100. So I've got 350 centimeters. Now let's set up our conversion ratio. We'll go between inches and centimeters. And that is 1 inch equals 2.54 centimeters equals... Put our question number in. 
which is this number right here. And that number goes down on the bottom because it is centimeters. And on top, I'm going to put my x. And from here, it's cross multiplied. All right, I just figured out that that semi-trailer is 137.8 inches tall. How does that compare to the overpass? Because the overpass is written in feet and inches. So let's just take that overpass, convert it all the way down into inches. Okay, I'm going to use one foot equals 12 inches. And we're working with 11 feet, 9 inches. I'm going to convert this 11 feet into inches and then add it on to that 9. So 11 feet times 12 inches per foot equals 132 inches. 132 inches plus 9 inches equals 141 inches. I've done all my conversions, but I haven't actually answered the question. It's important to end this with a sentence that actually answers it. Will the truck fit? So if I look over here, my truck is 137.8 and my overpass is 141. So technically, Yes, the overpass is taller than the truck, but it's only just over three inches taller. I'm not sure I would take the risk, but yes, it will fit.